Have you ever wondered when is the perfect time to harvest grapes for making that sweet sumptuous jam? It's a question that tickles the curiosity, isn't it? The world of grape harvesting is as intricate as it is fascinating. Timing, that's the secret ingredient. It's not just about plucking them off the vine. It's about understanding when the grapes have reached their peak of ripeness. The moment when the sugars have developed just right and the acidity has balanced perfectly. That's when the grapes are primed and ready to be transformed into delicious homemade jam. But how do we determine this perfect timing? It's a combination of science, understanding the weather patterns and a dash of gut instinct honed over years of experience. This intriguing blend of art and science is what makes grape harvesting so captivating. So are you ready for an adventure into this intoxicating sphere? Stay tuned as we delve into the world of organic grape harvesting. Harvesting grapes is an art as much as it is a science. Welcome to the captivating world of grape harvesting where knowledge and skill intertwine in a dance as old as civilization itself. It's a process that requires a delicate touch, an observant eye and a dash of intuition. So, what's the perfect time to harvest grapes? Well, it's not just a date on a calendar. It's a moment in time when the grapes have reached their peak of ripeness. This is when the sugars and acids within the grapes have reached a harmonious balance. The exact timing can vary based on the grape variety, the climate and the specific goals for the grapes, whether it's for wine, raisins or a sumptuous old-fashioned grape jam. Harvesting typically occurs in late summer to early fall, but the key lies in regular observation. The grape's color, firmness, flavor and sweetness can all signal the ideal harvest time. Some farmers even rely on the tried and true method of tasting the grapes for confirmation. Now, let's talk about the actual picking of the grapes. This is done by hand to ensure the delicate fruit isn't damaged. The harvester gently twists the grape cluster from the vine, taking care not to crush or bruise the grapes. It's a labor-intensive process, yes, but one that ensures the highest quality of the harvest. And what tools might you need for this task? A pair of sharp clean shears is a must to cut the grape clusters from the vine. A sturdy basket or bin is also essential for collecting the harvested grapes. Remember, every grape counts. Each one is a potential contributor to the final product, whether it's a fine wine or a jar of homemade jam. So, each grape is harvested with care and respect for the precious fruit that it is. Now that we have our perfectly ripe, organically grown grapes, it's time to transform them into a delightful delicacy. Making jam from grapes is a sweet science that requires precision and patience. Let's dive in. The first thing you'll need are the stars of the show. Fresh organic grapes. The type of grape you choose can drastically alter the flavor of your jam, so choose wisely. Next, you'll need sugar. This not only sweetens your jam but also helps in the preservation process. A general rule of thumb is to use half the weight of your fruit in sugar. Pectin is another crucial ingredient. This naturally occurring substance is what gives jam its characteristic jelly-like consistency. While some fruits such as apples and citrus fruits are high in pectin, grapes are not. So we'll need to add some in. Now let's move on to the preparation process. Start by washing your grapes thoroughly and removing the stems. Then place them in a large pot and crush them slightly to release their juices. Add your sugar, stir well, and let the mixture sit for a couple of hours. This allows the sugar to draw out more juice from the grapes and dissolve, creating a syrupy base for your jam. Once your mixture has rested, it's time to heat things up. Add your pectin, stir well, and bring the mixture to a boil over medium heat. Allow it to boil for about 10 minutes, stirring frequently to prevent burning. Now, it's time to test your jam. Place a small amount on a cold plate and let it cool. If it wrinkles when you push it with your finger, it's done. If not, keep boiling and testing until it reaches the right consistency. Once your jam is ready, ladle it into sterilized jars, leaving a quarter inch of headspace. Screw on the lids, then process the jars in a boiling water bath for 10 minutes to seal them. And there you have it. The sweet science of making grape jam, broken down into simple manageable steps. With our jam now simmering away, we are one step closer to that delicious final product. Our jam is almost ready, but first, we need to add the finishing touches. Now, this part of the process is essential. It's what transforms our grape mixture into a delightful, spreadable jam, full of flavor and texture. But how do we know when our jam has reached 
the perfect consistency. Well, there's a little trick for that. Place a plate in the freezer and let it chill. Once the jam has boiled for about 10 minutes, take a spoonful and drop it onto the cold plate. Push your finger through the jam. If it wrinkles and doesn't flood to fill the gap, your jam is ready. Once we've confirmed our jam is done, it's time for canning. Canning is a method that's been used for centuries to preserve food. It's simple, effective and gives your homemade jam a shelf life of up to one year. Start by sterilizing your jars. You can do this by boiling them in water for about 10 minutes. This step is crucial to kill off any bacteria or yeast that could spoil your jam. Next, fill your jars with the hot jam, leaving a quarter inch of headspace. The headspace allows for the expansion of the jam as it cools down and creates a vacuum seal. After filling, wipe the rims clean. Place the lids on and screw the bands down until they are fingertip tight. Now it's time to process the jars in a boiling water bath. This step ensures the jars are sealed properly and makes the jam safe for long-term storage. The jars should be covered by at least one inch of water and boiled for 10 minutes. Once done, let them cool on the countertop. You'll hear a satisfying pop as they cool and seal. Finally, store your jars in a cool, dry and dark place. They're now ready to be enjoyed at your leisure or given as thoughtful homemade gifts. And there you have it, a jar of homemade old-fashioned grape jam. So, what have we learned today about grape harvesting and making old-fashioned grape jam? Well, we've journeyed through the beautiful vineyards, learning about the intriguing world of grape harvesting. We've observed that timing is an art in itself, a crucial element in ensuring the grapes are ripe, juicy and full of the flavors we love. It's not simply about picking fruit off a vine. It's about understanding the grape's life cycle, the soil, the weather, and the subtle cues that nature gives us. We've learned that patience and observation are key and that the best grape harvests are those that respect the rhythms of nature. From there, we ventured into the sweet science of jam making. We've discovered that precision is paramount from the amount of sugar used to the time spent boiling the mixture. We've seen how important it is to skim off the foam, to stir constantly to prevent burning and to test the jam for its readiness. We've learned that making jam is a labor of love, requiring attention to detail and a passion for preserving the bounty of the harvest in a jar. We then added the finishing touches, letting the jam cool and then sealing it for storage. We've learned that the process doesn't end with the cooking. The jam must be properly stored to ensure it maintains its flavor and freshness. The satisfaction of seeing jars of homemade grape jam lined up on a shelf Knowing the effort and care that went into each one is a joy that is hard to describe. In essence, today's journey has been about more than just harvesting grapes and making jam. It's about connecting with nature, understanding its rhythms and preserving its gifts in the most delicious way possible. So as we bid you farewell, let's not forget what we've learned. The secret to a great jam is not in the recipe alone, but in the quality of the grapes and the care taken in their harvest. Remember, the secret to a great jam starts with the perfect grape harvest. Happy harvesting and jam making.